This is my pegboard and it's all 3D printed. We're gonna be adding on to it today. When I say all 3D printed, I mean legit all 3D printed. So this is 3D printed. The brackets holding them together are 3D printed. I just put some hot glue on it for some reinforcement. And these bolts, actually, I'm recycle reusing them from something else. But notice how there's not one here. I'm gonna be making the bolts that hold this to the wall. So I have tons of stuff here. Everything looks legit, but I found something. And it's from another creator. It's in the Bamboo Marketplace. I love this marketplace so much. Everything is free and you can find tons of awesome designs. This one might be really cool. So I printed two of these. It finished in about two hours, two and a half hours each. And let's just pull it off the print bed. I love this so much because usually it easily just comes off. Boom and boom. Love the texture at the bottom as well. Thanks, Bamboo. I love this printer so much. It'll be in the description below the like button. So now that I have these, it's time to put them on the pegboard and see if they fit. Now, I didn't have to print supports on the sides right here, which is super awesome, saves time and a lot of material. In the back though, for the hooks and the part that goes into the pegboard, there are supports, but since it's PLA, I'm hoping that it is easily removable without me breaking it. And yeah, not too bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these back here. And that's what it looks like. Sweet! And with all these done, let's go ahead and put them on the pegboard. So this is pretty much it, guys. I just find four holes, line them up. All right, guys, so this thing is like firmly in here. It took a while to snap it into place, but it fits super nicely. I'm not worried about that coming off whatsoever. So this is super sick. You can see it just sits flat here and I can already think of some things to put in there. Actually, I, I can't. What the heck was I gonna do? Oh yeah, so we have like this little knife, for example, we can just put it right here. For my pegboard, I need to, and I will update this in the design, the kind of standoffs on where the pegboard is mounted together. It's not tall enough, so I had to undo this bolt as well as this bolt to actually get this to fit because it sits quite far on the back. So. I gotta fix that, but these will be updated and fixed in CAD. So whatever that's in the description, it'll be updated. So there's a lot more room back here and you won't have to move the screws off. I have other stuff like this, pl oh, plasma lighter's dead. Need to charge it. But for the plasma lighter, it can also go up here, for example. What else we got in here? I'll be making a specialized thing for this deburring tool. So stay subscribed for that. This was my old setup in here, but I'm cleaning this out and also making it easier to access all the things I use at the ready right here. So if you wanna see the other hooks I use and any of the other mounts, make sure you stay subscribed because I'll post these very soon. And I'll have everything in the description. But yeah, this is my fully 3D printed pegboard. I love it. So now just got to mount this guy up there and find some more stuff to put in it. These are the pegboard pieces. I'm going to make them thicker. So when you download them, you won't have a problem and take a look at these little shelves being printed. It's so sick to see it come together.